What's going on, Virgo? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. Universe is telling you that you are the one in charge and you are the one that determines who and what gets done in this third dimension. What does this mean? You know how you are in charge of who comes into your house? You don't allow a stranger to walk in, especially if they're dirty, you don't know them, they're giving you off bad vibes, they're stinky. You would never let that happen. All right, we're the same way you don't allow strangers in your house. Universe is telling you, do not allow negative thoughts in your mind. You are in charge. You are the one standing at the door and determining whether or not negative thoughts are allowed to enter. This is not hocus pocus, guys. This is the real ish. If you want to get rich, if you want to meet your soulmate, if you want to have six pack abs, this is the only way to do it. You gotta understand, you are the one in charge. This is so important. The only way this will work is when you start owning it, which really means the past is a lesson, practice self-discipline and not regret, and understand you're better off choosing silence over unnecessary words. What does this really mean? Right now, if you want to be abundant, if you want to have a happy, healthy life, all you have to do is find something that you can associate with that energy. For example, what is a passion of yours? For me, a passion is gardening. As a kid, I like nature. So what do I do? I wake up in the morning, I watch 15, 20 minutes of gardening shows on YouTube. That energy of me watching gardening is so peaceful and tranquil. It makes me feel good. That energy right there, source is telling you, that is abundance. That is what universe wants. There is always enough. When I feel that energy, I tell myself, for the rest of the day, this is my baseline. Anything that takes me out of this means I am losing in life. So if someone comes into my life and goes, blah, 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 they start talking and they don't have that same frequency, I tell them, hello, my frequency is up here. I suggest you raise your frequency. This is how you do it. If you choose not to do this, adios, simple as pie. Or if I have a thought, something I eat, anything that does not feel as good as what I did with my passion, it means don't do it. It's so simple. Universe is telling you right now, you have the choice. And right now, source is telling you that the next time you're on your YouTube feed, TikTok feed, social media, the next time you're letting in sounds and stimulation and things that you could care less about, it is taking away your soul, guys. You think it's not killing you? You know what's happening? You heard a sound healing? It's the opposite. All these distractions and sounds, you think it's actually helping you? You're giving away your power, right? So source is telling you, this is coming from a guy who makes tons of money online, six pack abs, and with his soulmate. So I'm not some guy that's just telling you this. On top of that, I'm not selling you nothing. I'm not telling you to buy my course, right? So I have nothing to gain but tell you the, gain, the, the truth. I'm telling you real-ish. You can do this too. Who do you want to listen to? Do you want to listen to someone who, you know, take one look at them and be like, do I want to, do I trust this person? Or do you want to listen to someone who's like, listen, I'm doing it right now. Here's the proof. You should do it too, right? Source is telling you the ball is in your court. You need to understand this. You are the one in charge. Ball is in your court. Align with positivity, attract prosperity. Your vibrations speak louder than your words. All of these things are real. So right now the universe is telling you, step one, find something you are passionate about. For example, my father always likes soccer. So I told him, in the morning, what you gotta do is go find your favorite team. Who's your favorite team? Manchester United? Great. Did they win last night? Where did they play? Was it home turf? Was it away? What was their strategy? Who are they playing next? What ranking are they in the, in the, in the what are they in the standings? You know, what, what does the outlook look like? Be engulfed in that. Now for you, it might be something else. It might be nature, kids, well, I don't know. So find what you love. You have something you love. Trust me, everyone has something. Find what it is. If you're like, I don't know, it's what you liked as a kid. And then in the morning, spend 15, 20 minutes, have fun with it. Do not wake up in the morning and immediately look at your phone. If you do this, you might as well say, I want to lose in life. This is another choice. If you wake up and you're like, oh, time to check emails and blah, 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 blah. You could expect to lose. I used to do this. You don't want to do this. You want to wake up and be like, all right, I'm gonna spend 15, 20 minutes doing what I love. I'm doing this because not only is it fun, but on top of that, this is what the universe wants. 
Spirit has a plan. This is it. This is what the universe wants. You are watching your reading, getting messages from spirit. Practice self-discipline, not regret, right? Understand that abundance flows to the grateful heart. This is the route. You want to know how to make money. You want to meet your soul, babe. Simple as pie. Have fun. So right now, step number one. Now remember, if anything comes into your life and tries to talk you out of it, that is where you have to exercise a will greater than the programming and say, nope, I'm not having it. So what does that mean? For example, that feeling of that, that morning routine, that morning energy that now you have, that's called baseline. Anything that's not that, anything that takes you away from that, the feeling of butterflies, giggles, fun, that is a threat to you. So if you're about to eat something and you're like, whoa, all of a sudden I'm digesting and it's lowering my frequency, this is a threat. Change what you're eating. If you are watching a show on YouTube, you're like, oh, I was so excited. Now I watch this and it's lowering my frequency. This is a threat. The universe gave you instincts for a reason. It's to save your life. Right now, source is telling you, align with positivity, uh, uh, um, attract prosperity. Your life is a mirror, right? Your life is a reflection of your inner state. When you are in a Beautiful energy of harmony and peace. What do you get? Melody. Embrace the in-between, right? Source is telling you, be here in the now, right now. But when you are in chaos, stimulation, and fear, what do you think you're getting? Chaos, stimulation, and fear. So source is telling you, what is the most important thing right now? Be loyal to what you love. What do you love? What are you, what are you passionate about? If you don't know this answer, you better. You know how dangerous it is not knowing this? Like, for example, do you leave the house without wearing shoes? No, you can, but why would you? Why in the world would you possibly do that? Your life would be harder. Same thing, you know how you could wake up and not do this, but why would you? Why would you want your life harder than it has to be? The only reason you would possibly do this is because of years of brainwashing, telling you, check your phone in the morning, check your emails, wake up and try to make money. Great, that can wait 15 minutes. Now, universe is also telling you, that there's prosperity in, in terms of financial relief coming your way, but this only comes when you are quantum entangling with the energy of prosperity itself. Because remember, like attracts like law of attraction. So if you've been waiting for change, understand the universe is waiting for you. Your thoughts, your feelings determine your future. How you think and how you feel. Brain coherence, electrical energy of the brain, magnetic energy of the heart. What does this mean? Your thoughts have to match your feelings, they have to match your expectations. If you expect to be rich, you better have rich thoughts, which really means abundant thoughts. Wow, I can visualize myself on that yacht, on that boat. If you expect to meet your soulmate, you better be having thoughts that are like, wow, me and my soulmate holding hands, it feels so good. You better be able to you have an imagination and do that. Because if you don't have that imagination and you're not doing that, you're playing yourself, it will never work. So ask yourself, your neighbors, your friends, your coworkers, why are they all broke and not with their soulmate? How did I even know that? Because that's the state of the world. This is, this is facts. Don't do the same thing as them. What do they do? They wake up and they check their phone, right? Right now, how do I know this? Because I've been there. I've been there. It sucks. You don't need to do this. All right, now, final, uh, let's get your affirmation for the day. Write this down in the comment section, Virgo. Affirmation. When you write this down, you're saying it's so. Universe does not fact check. It could care less if something is real or not. Placebo effect, right? You need, if you say it is, it is. And when you write, when you write this down, you're saying this is law. This is so. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section right now. Let the universe know you're ready. I nourish my nudges. Write this down in the comment section. I nourish my nudges. This means you trust yourself. You trust your instincts. Quantum entangle with this energy. Write this down in the comment section right now. I nourish my nudges. Let the universe know you are ready, capable, willing, inviting, really just commanding, assuming, expecting. What are you not doing? Waiting for nothing. You are expecting this. Do you expect your paycheck? If you go to work, you better be there. Exactly. You better expect abundance too. Now, final message from the universe. Look at the joke here. Pucker up, buttercup. Oh my God, universe is the best. Universe got jokes. This whole thing's a comedy, not a thriller. Check this out. Being fair and responsible will earn you respect and admiration, but being genuinely kind will make you a total love magnet. Go for love magnet, the universe. What does this mean? Right now, really have fun. Be silly. Enjoy yourself. Be kind. Be generous. Life is like a boomerang. The energy you put out there, it comes back. It actually comes back tenfold. The universe is giving you the heads up. Don't be serious at all. Being serious is the quickest way to a low frequency, right? Right now, 
embrace the in-between, love yourself, find your passion immediately, make that your baseline and your non-negotiable. All right, Virgo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.